As many of you know, Easter is celebrated worldwide, and most countries have their own traditions. The Easter egg actually has a long history with ties to the Ukraine. The intricate and delicate Pasanka graces homes this time of year. And here to tell us more about what this beautiful Ukrainian Easter egg and the art of Pasanka decorating is, is Gloria Hobarty. Hobarty, actually. Gloria lectures and has mastered the technique of transforming the egg into a piece of art. It's great to have you with us, Gloria. Thank you. First of all, let's talk about the history of the Pisanka, which is singular, and then you say Pisanka, plural. Or plural, okay. okay. Um, well, we have discovered that during the Bronze Age, the Ukrainian Easter egg was made um, by the early settlers of Ukraine, um, and it was during the Neolithic period. So we call them trepillion. Um, trepillion um, eggs are browns, whites, and, and they're all earthen colors and blacks. And their meanings were pagan meanings. But today, um, it's evolved from the pagan meanings to the Christian meanings when Ukrainian took Christianity in 988. And, um, we now make all these beautiful eggs. And they're so, they are so beautiful and, and so complex in, in, the, in the details. Well, there are different regions of Ukraine and each region has something a little different. Some are more ornate, some are um, less, some only use a few colors, others use as many colors as they can find designs to create on the Pisanka. Yeah. What is the meaning to uh, the name of it? Is there a... Pisanka comes pisanka. from the word pisata, which pisata. means to write. Okay. It's a raw egg, it's dyed many brilliant colors, and it's never eaten. And we don't just keep it in our homes for decoration. We keep it in our homes to protect it against fire and lightning. Because at one time, our homes were all made with thatched roofs. And then we have another type of Easter egg, and that's called the krasanka. Now, the krasanka comes from the word kraska, it's a hard-boiled egg. It's dyed one brilliant color. And I think everyone has made that at one time in their lives. So we have something in common with others. <laughs> I know. What kind of eggs are, are these? Are the, do these? These are all chicken eggs. These are all chicken eggs. Yeah, and except it is? Except for the goose egg. Mm -hmm. um, that one actually was, that is was a made fairly in, large egg. I figured that wasn't a chicken that egg. That was from 19, my mother made that one in 1973. Oh, That's my. how long we've kept it. And it's a whole, it was a whole egg. So, and this one is a duck egg. I mean, you look at it and it looks like, a, to me anyway, it is a piece of art. It really is. It takes a long time. How long does it take to make one of these? Um, something complicated, um, perhaps like this, or would be maybe five hours or more. Something like this, 14 hours. Five hours or more for that little egg? It's a little egg, but it's got a lot of detail and a lot of color. That's amazing. Because, for instance, here we start. We start with the white whole raw yes. egg. And then we that is a whole egg, right that's there. That's a whole egg. Yes, it it won't it'll flo it won't float. Um, then you take and everything that you've covered on the white egg mm -hmm. with the beeswax, you're going to dip into the next lightest color. Well, let's first, yeah, let's talk about what we'll, what we need okay. to make one of these. Okay. Well, we'll start off with the white whole raw egg because Ukrainians believe in the fertility of the egg, so we didn't take out the inside at the time. Today, eggs are poor. The poor chickens are sitting in coops, so they don't have the natural organic materials to keep strong eggs. Then we have, we need a kiska. Originally, the kiska um, was made from a willow stick. They took copper metal and wrapped it around a nail to create a point and a mm -hmm. funnel at the other end and tied it together with copper. Copper retains heat. Then we use beeswax. Beeswax, because of its very good covering ability, mm -hmm. um, you cannot, once you get this on the egg, you cannot get it off. It sticks. It's very st tacky. It's not like, uh, some people say, can we use paraffin wax? No, paraffin will come off. Okay, so you got to use beeswax. you got to use beeswax. Okay. And the only other thing that you need is liquid we have we call and we use liquid dyes which originally we used organic materials um things like the mustard family we used for yellow we used to boil onion skins and make pale yellow um browns for mosses greens for um in, mosses were green barks were brown and the black walnut was black okay today we use um aniline dyes and you actually the, we now have modern tools here. we have modern kiskas I, I brought these 
um, but we also have many that look like the original ones. And it's now you've yeah. actually okay. It, 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 you can pull it. Are you sure? I, won't, yeah. I don't want to break it. Okay, yeah. you actually warmed them up. I warmed it up because um, there's beeswax in this one because these have been used. So I put beeswax in the back, just little pieces of beeswax, okay. and then we heat it over the candle. With and the what it, what will this do? This will melt the beeswax inside, and then this will. The, be the beeswax comes through the point, mm -hmm. and that's what creates the design with you drawing. Now this is your pencil-like. <laughs> how long does it take to become a master of this? I started at, my age is, at the age of six. Wow. I was a child. My mother taught us. And it, it's, it's, a, it's a secret art. It was this very secret art passed on from family to family. Mother taught their daughter who taught their daughter. And that's how it was passed on to me. My mother learned it from her mother, and, and then she taught me. We and have I about taught a minute my children. Left. So should we, you, you want to teach me something? Go ahead. All right. Yes. So how, how, where, what should I do? OK, first you got to hold it. OK. This is a whole egg right here. A whole egg, right? OK. And we're going to heat it a little faster. OK, heat yes. it a little faster. Yeah, I think yours is probably warmer. You think? Yeah. Okay. Maybe, well, not quite. All right, I'll just keep... No, never turn it upside oh, down. You'll, okay. you'll lose all the wax, Ooh, okay? Okay. <laughs> now, you just try to write on it, any place you want to today. Okay, and how are you going to do it? I'm just going to make a line. Oh, okay. Just going to make a line. And I like to move the egg, and that gives you a straighter line. Ah, oh, oh, very I, I, good. I'm not great, but no. it's, it's there. It needs I to see be my mark. you got to heat I it i got to heat it some more. Yeah. All right, and of course, you offer these types of classes. Yes, um, I teach anyone in it, it, that who likes to learn to, uh, a nice art. Yes, and I also lecture and demonstrate. Whoops. I was do to go to schools and community organizations. Oh, and okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're getting Gloria, there. I, I did okay. Job. You did good. Okay. For, hey, <laughs> all it takes is a little practice. I think you'll be a great artist. <laughs> and if you want to get in touch with Gloria, we'll have that information on our website, wtnh.com, and click on Connecticut Style. Again, Gloria, thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> and Christos Fuscras for Easter. Oh, thank you. And there's more Connecticut Style coming your way right after this.